Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video we are going to be taking a look at which units you should get with your red coins in DBZ Doka Battle. Now of course the big question will be should you buy the superheroes units and we'll obviously get to that and to be honest with you if you're just looking for what my opinion is yes you should buy the superheroes units both of them especially if you don't own them don't listen to what anyone else says it's definitely great to have both of them they're both exceptional units they'll both carry you through a ton of content and that's that now i'll talk a little bit more in detail about all of the units on the red coins and whether you should get them or get them for dupes but yes basically that is pretty much as is so obviously uh, we'll start with just discussing what makes a unit good for purchasing with red coins. Now it's not just about the solo strength of a unit for me. I personally prefer to always get units that are you know, essentially incredibly strong. Units that can be incredibly helpful in terms of leader skill and performance. A red coin unit could also change. A unit may not be worth being red coined, but then they get a whole bunch of buffs. Like an AGL Cell over here who's got Int Cell now with his EZA. And all of a sudden, if you have in cell and you need AGL cell to create a perfect cell lineup, then you know, it's a fantastic use of that unit. So a rare coin or red coining unit doesn't always have to be set in stone, but I'll give you my general thoughts. So Tech Freezer and AGL Goku, I like both of them as units, but they're not worth the 400 coins comparative to the other units that are available right now and just in general. 400 coins is a lot, it's any other DFE that isn't an LR, and so I just don't think they're up there. Strength Cooler on the other hand, I think is a great choice for 400 coins. If you don't have them and you have everyone else and you're looking to buy a unit, Strength Cooler is a great choice. His leader skill is exceptional, his EZA is exceptional, and you know, with DKP Jr. or Ma Jr. or Piccolo Jr., whatever you want to call him, uh, he has a great new kind of lineup to build around terrifying conquerors int kid goku not really up there for me physical piccolo uh, has a really really good easy a but i think his leader skill for me is not really enough to warrant him being a red coin unit now if you have all the piccolos in existence then yeah go for it but for me not quite Junemba, i don't think is up there his leader skill is decent but he doesn't have a game breaking team and he's a great floating support himself but he's not worth your coins uh, he can do hard content but he's not going to break hard content for you he's not going to bust you through the hemisphere to get to that hard content Baiku Han is similar uh, a lot of people have grown to respect him I think he is a great unit he brings great utility but again he's not enough on his own to break you into hard content AGL Metal Cooler has a great new linking partner in the form of Piccolo Jr., but he himself is just not necessarily there when it comes to being good enough to use. His Wicked Bloodlines Gazer skill is basically a diminished version of Strength Cooler's. Strength Cooler, I think, has the slightly better EZA or the more malleable EZA, and so I just think that AGL Metal Cooler, although exceptional and great with DKP, is not good enough to warrant coins. The next one might be slightly controversial, but Tech Gohan could still be a good pickup, especially for new players. Not only is he pretty much indestructible for most early to mid game content and still usable in red zone to a certain degree, uh, he is actually also with a great leader skill. Kid Buu, as mentioned before, is an exceptionally strong unit. He has some really good buffs on the JP side, which makes him far more malleable as a unit. However, I just don't think he's there yet. We're like one or two Boo margin power kind of units away from him being really, really solid as a unit on his own team. However, he does need dupes. And so if you're looking at picking up dupes, he is a unit that you could definitely pick up dupes for if you already have the strong basis of that margin power team on JP's side. Goku, exceptional unit, but I just don't think his leader skill warrants purchase. And AGL Cell and the Strength Goku Gohan, firstly, I believe are very solid units. Um, I think they're great. I think AGL Cell and Strength Goku Gohan got a big buff with the units that were recently easy aid in the form of Int Cell and AGL Gohan. Both of them need dupes. 
So if you're going to go for them, understand that the 55% they are underwhelming, but their 200% leads are fantastic. And I think they can be really, really solid pickups if you have everything else on the red coins right now. And if you have a dupe in the LRs, consider picking up a dupe in these guys, but only if you have a dupe in the LRs. Now Piccolo and Gohan, obviously the big question, should you get them? As I already answered, yes, you should get them. If you don't have either of them, grab them. If you have one of them, grab the other one. If you don't have a dupe in them, grab the first dupe in them. These two units are both exceptional. If you're asking me, I would say grab Piccolo over Gohan. Why is that? Because Piccolo is a lot easier to use than Gohan. I personally think the gap between them is not so big as people like to make out, at least personally speaking. But, you know, that's my own opinion. But I do think Piccolo is far easier to use. He is a unit that makes players' lives easy. He makes content much significantly simpler to play because he is so strong himself. So Piccolo, incredibly good, even at 55%. His leader skill is not as strong as Gohan's, so I don't like it that much, but it's still pretty decent in terms of strength. He's got another buff with physical Piccolo. You can grab strength movie hero, cooler movie Piccolo on the SSR guaranteed banner as well. So it's a great time to pick up Piccolo. Gohan, people don't like him. I love this guy. I personally actually love this unit. I, I literally think he's one of my top three favorite units to run in the game. I think he's awesome. He is very good. People can say what they want, but he's a very good unit. His leader skill is superb. He's basically a permanent 200% lead for a ton of units. Superheroes, movie heroes, uh, hybrid sands all basically have a permanent 200% lead with him. He's fantastic. Once he gets fully built up, he's very strong, especially with dupes, and he's just overall an incredibly exciting unit to use. Is he as good as Piccolo? I do think Piccolo is slightly better. I would suggest going for Piccolo first, but if you don't have Gohan, seriously, pick up Gohan. Like, do it. Just trust me on this one. But that's it for me. Uh, that should cover everything you need to know. Honestly, it shouldn't surprise you that you should pick up either of these two units. They both exceptional LRs. Gohan has a fantastic leader skill and Piccolo himself is probably one of the best defensive units in the game. But that is basically going to be it for me. Uh, I don't think there's anything else really to mention about the red coin banner. Uh, so honestly guys, make your choices wisely. Uh, remember that the coins do take a while to build up. So always spend them wisely and rather get units you don't have than units you do have. Unless you have everything, then go for dupes. But bye.